Hello, today I want to show you something we haven't talked about before. So here's a window we made in 2013. But it's not this I want to show you, it's something else. And I'll warn you right away, I'm going to give you a hard time today. A hard time indeed, no strawberries and cream. I'm going to show you no mercy. I'm really going to turn the screws. So let's get going. Let's start somewhere we all feel comfortable and get our bearings. So here you see a section of the design, the Royal Lion itself, symbolising England. And I don't think you'll be surprised to learn that the first thing we did after cutting and cleaning the glass was to lay down an undercoat. And after the undercoat, a good 30 minutes or so of detailed tracing. Which brings us to here. And then it was time to flood around those outside lines and strengthen all the inside lines like this. Which brings us here. And of course, we can all sit back and enjoy a whole lot more of this because it is so seductive and beguiling. But I said I was going to give you a hard time and I will always keep my promises to you. So let me ask you a question. Okay, so if this depends on this, which came before, and stepping back in time again, if this depends on this, my question to you is what am I not showing you? that you absolutely, definitely, indubitably, certainly must see. So I'm showing you the techniques. I'm showing you the flooding, the strengthening, the tracing, the mat. My question to you is, what don't you see? Is it the brush? You think it's the brush? Well, here's the brush, or one of them a wonderful tracing brush. And yes, you're right that to make a window like this, one thing you need for sure is great technique, strengthening, tracing, flooding, for instance. And the other thing you need, of course, is great brushes like these. You're absolutely right, technique and brushes. But there's a third thing, a third thing you really must have. And that third thing is paint. Paint, which I know you knew. Of course you knew that. But the point is, we can show you how we flood and strengthen and trace and mat. And I'm sure you feel, you'll feel like you're learning a lot. I know in my heart that I won't have done everything that I can do for you until I show you the kind of paint we always start with. Now I know it's not seductive like this, but I promise you this lovely lump of glass paint is the foundation of the techniques which lead to this. So this is what my lump of paint looks like after I've spent a few minutes waking it up. This is the kind of paint that's ready to go. I've already revived it. It's ready for me to work with it. And this is so important because you can study and practice techniques till you are blue in the face. And you can spend every last penny that you have on amazing brushes. But wonderful technique and the finest brushes in the world won't help you much 
unless you have wonderfully mixed paint like this to start with. So now I want this commitment from you. This is what I want. I told you I was going to give you a hard time and what I want you to do is to settle back and watch my paint for the next two minutes. Yes, watch my paint. Not watch me paint. I want you to watch my paint just for two minutes. I want you to settle back and do that or else, I'm sorry, I don't believe that without paint like this, even if you have fantastic technique and even if you have those amazing brushes, without paint like this, I don't believe you can go as far as I know you want to. Believe me, David and I can trace and shade and flood and highlight and matte in front of you for hours. We love doing it. But I just don't think you'll get what we do so that you can do it for yourself unless you mix the kind of paint we do. So today, no strawberries and cream. I've given you a hard time with that video, which I haven't shown publicly before. And the reason is, I wanted you to see the place where every time it starts. Every time. It always starts with the paint. Mm -hmm. 